everyone welcome to part two of our c sharp and sql server tutorial in this part we're going to continue where we left off so in the first part we create database and we call the database from the main and this one we are going to create a table so i'm going to comment this one out the create method call and minimize this method here okay um, I'm going to tab out the uh, new method, create table. It's going to be our new method, okay? And tell Visu Visual Studio to tab out the uh, method for us. So generate method. Okay. I get rid of this. All right, first of all, up top here, as a class level variable, I'm going to create a string variable. So a constant string is going to be our um, connection string. I'm going to call this connection string equals, and we'll, it's going to be similar to the first one. So data source, We'll set the data source to localhost. I mean, localhost. Localhost, jeez. <laughs> okay. Um, localhost. All right. Um, integrated security. Equals SSPI and initial catalog. This one is not going to be blank this time because we already created database. So we'll pass in the name of our database, which is my shop. Okay. All right, so our connection string is ready. Let's go inside our method. Um, so first, I want to create a SQL connection. Call the SQL connections equals new SQL connection, and we'll pass in our connection string. Okay, so that's our connection. Uh, next, I want to create another string variable for the SQL statement. So, string, I'm going to call the SQL statement. I think it makes more sense. Okay, this is going to be equals to. So the statement we want is create table. And we'll pass in the fields and the data types. Okay, so we are going to our name of the table, of course. So let's call this customer. Okay. So first column is going to be ID. We want this to be int, primary key, and identity. So identity is going to assign the ID column automatically, so I don't have to pass in the value every time, create a new record. So that's that. Identity. Okay. Our next column is going to be name. And this is going to be varchar50. Okay, and finally we'll have a balance column. And it's going to be type of money. Okay, or we could use different data type, but I'm gonna use this for now and see what happens. Uh, we can change it later if you want to. Um okay. See, so that's that. Now I want to open a try catch block. Okay, just let's assign a variable here for the exception. All right, so inside our K 
catch block try catch block let's first open the connection if it's not open so if uh, SQL connection that state equals equals connection state dot closed Then we want to open it. Okay. And then right below here, if it's already open, it doesn't have to do anything here. We want to print the console saying the connection is open. Okay. All right. Once the connection is open, we are going to create a, an instance of our SQL command. SQL command equals new SQL command, and we'll pass in um, the SQL connection and actually SQL statement and the connection, and then the connection, which is our SQL connection. Okay. All right. So once we pass that in, then we have to execute the command SQL command dot execute non query. Okay. And then we can print to the screen that the table is created. Okay. All right. So in case of exception, now we want to type in the exception to the screen. And finally, uh, we want to close the connection. So SQL connection dot close and print connection closed. Okay. All right, I think we are good. Let's see, we create the connection and passed in the connection string up here. Then we create our SQL statement with three columns. Then we check whether the connection is open or not. Okay, and then we create our command. We we'll passed in the statement and the connection. And finally, we executed the command to create a table. Okay, that should be it. Let's call this method. Well, actually, we called it already. And um, in that case, let's build and run it. Okay, build goes through well. And let's run it. Connection is open, and we got a problem here near identity okay did I misspell something here identity let's add int primary key Table customer, your ID is int. Let's make it integer, but I don't think that should matter. It's a primary key. You don't need commas and identity. Oh, Jesus, identity. I <laughs> Sometimes you just don't see something that's right in front of your face. It's annoying, but um, anyway, let's run this again. So, all right, so we got the connection open, table is created and connection closed. Okay, perfect. 
okay now we successfully created our table uh, in the next tutorial we're going to continue with the rest of the CRUD operations we're going to add records read uh, delete update and all that good stuff okay until then i'll see you take it easy